Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. It is actually like, it's already noon. Today has been a weird day. I'm not gonna get like too TMI, but I've just had like the most absolutely horrendous period that I've had in like a decade this past time. And it's just, it's been truly brutal. I am so grateful that I'm going to the gynecologist on Monday. It's currently Thursday and I'm getting ready to film a little main channel video because the video that I had planned that I was gonna film tomorrow fell through. So now I'm gonna film this. And actually I only have like an hour to do this because I am going to an ENT appointment today and if you have been like watching my channel since March when I got back from Japan I'll explain more later but I have had an ear issue since that flight home so we're gonna get that addressed finally I kind of thought that I was just gonna try my own little thing and my own remedies and what urgent care recommended and that it was just gonna like resolve on its own and it hasn't and now it's coming to the time where like I want to travel again soon and I just want to make sure that it's safe to do so so anyway we'll get more into that later but that's at like two o'clock and I have to, it's weird, I have to do like a hearing test first at two and then I have to wait like an hour and a half and then go to my appointment. So we're gonna do all that. So anyway, all that to say, I only have an hour and I have just been like having such a hard time getting going today. It's just been a struggle, but I did put on some fake freckles to make myself feel better, so there we go. I'm gonna set everything up now, film this like cozy, fun little fall fashion haul, even though, you know, it is warm outside. It's only like 80 as opposed to 90, so honestly, I will freaking take it. And like, at least if I get this done before I go to my appointment, I'm like, okay, I feel like I did something today, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, just finished up my filming. Changed really quick because I want to wear something like very comfy because I'm gonna need to be there for like the rest of the day. <laughs> Hopefully it goes by really quickly, but I think it was just like the only availability they had because I'm seeing like two different people. I'm just seeing an audiologist and then an ENT. So I'm just slipping on my shoes right now. I really want to grab a snack, but I might have to wait. I might just bring like a protein bar and a banana or something. And I've been trying, as you've seen in vlogs, I'm trying to like get dressed more when I'm going places instead of just wearing like my pajamas because it really does make me feel better overall like it makes me really happy so okay this is what we've come up with for today so it's like it's comfy but it's also like a little bit elevated you know so I have this old t-shirt I honestly don't know what this is from it is so so old and vintage but it's very worn in and comfy and I like the red and then to go with it I have my favorite Hollister tiered maxi skirt i love this got my black sambas with my socks so i can just like walk from building to building comfortably i've got my gold hoops these are from amazon i have this really cute layered smiley face necklace that i got from my friend maddie wilson she gave it to me in like a little gift basket when i met her in arizona like last year or the year before that and then i've got my prescription aviator glasses these are actually real i desperately need them when i'm driving and then can you like see my little freckles they're kind of fun. I'm like already out of breath because I like know I need to get going and get my ass in the car. So we're gonna grab my protein bar. I don't know where that is. Oh here, I'm gonna grab her. That's why I got it, honestly. I'm gonna grab some peanut butter crackers in case of emergency. And there we have it. There is our snacks. I was gonna grab a banana, but there's only one left. And like, I always end up bringing bananas and then they're all smushed. Anyways, I don't need to say every thought out loud. I also packed up my Kindle because, you know, if I'm gonna be sitting there a while, I want something to do. I'm gonna fill up my water and then we are gonna hit the road. And I will chat to you about all of my <laughs> doctor's appointments I have coming up. Also, as a teensy tiny garden update on the way to the car, look at this eggplant. Look at her go. I'm so excited. And there's two new blooms as well. All right, just parked and I realized this is actually the same like plaza that I got my gastroenterology stuff done. So this is like the same building as my, I think it's the same building or at least it's the same parking garage as my gastroenterologist. Cedar sinai is a massive hospital. Like they have medical plazas, they have an actual hospital, an emergency room, they have cancer centers, like so many things spread out all over. So I got here, I'm a little bit early, which is good. 
I'm very proud of myself. I've actually been quite early for things recently because I've actually been trying. With ADHD time blindness, it can be really difficult to make it to things on time because you realize, you know, when it's too late, etc. But I'm actually quite proud of myself. But anyways, yeah. So as a quick little backstory, no one cares, but I mean, this is my channel, so I'm gonna talk about my stuff. So back in March, I took a trip to Japan. And when I was in Japan, I ended up getting a cold and it didn't last very long. But by the time we flew home, like back to LA, when we were landing like when we were descending to land all of a sudden I got this like insanely sharp pain in my ear and I was like ah and it hurt so bad like I was just sitting there like and it just like plugged up really bad and so I was sitting there I was like yawning I was like chewing stuff I was like pulling on my ear trying to get it to pop and it just like would not pop and I was like this has never happened before where it's like been plugged up for this long and so when we landed it still hadn't popped when we were in our uber it still hadn't popped which like I was just convinced it was gonna heal itself and then suddenly it had been a day and then it had been a week and I think by the time I had hit like the almost week mark it had started like I had noticed it kind of itching a little bit and I was like oh no so I went to urgent care and they were like it looks a little bit infected so let's put you on some antibiotics for it and then we'll also prescribe you like a decongestant nasal spray etc etc like all the things that they recommend for like a blocked up ear and I would say that it helped like a little bit but over the last I don't know it's been six months my ear just hasn't fully un plugged like every time I yawn or like do everything that I can do to unblock my ears it just this one does not fully pop and I can hear like a tiny bit of it when I talk and it's just sort of something that I've gotten used to so anyway I have tried every single method you don't have to you don't have to suggest something I promise you I've tried it like I said earlier I've done like steam I've tried all of the methods that they tell you not to do but I was just desperate I've tried the suction thing I've tried pulling on my ear and all the different angles I've tried the acupressure I've tried this tool where it blows air up your nose and you plug the other side and swallow and it's supposed to pop your ears magically it like this thing will not pop it's just not fully popped and so yeah like with you know potential travel coming up I just want to make sure that like I'm taking good care of myself and so this is one of the doctor's appointments that I have I also have to go to the dentist I have to go to the OBGYN like I mentioned I need to take a trip to the dermatologist I'm past due for that I have to do a checkup for my gastroenterology doctor appointment like there's just a lot so anyways we're just knocking it off the list there's no real timeline but hopefully we can get some answers today and you know we will get on the path of like getting this ear freaking unclogged because it is truly maddening it's actually making me insane so we will see what happens but anyways i'm gonna head inside and wish me luck i will check in with you after Oh my gosh. So it is literally like almost three and a half hours later. That's how long I was in there. Um, I'm uh, sniffling like crazy my nose oh, because he just did a scope like from my nose, like all the way down into my throat. I was like, he, had, he put his arm on my shoulder because I was like, <laughs> like I was panicking. I need some water so bad. So um, basically, yeah, that was it. It was kind of like one of those appointments where, okay, it was really good to know that my hearing is completely fine. Like my hearing was not damaged at all, has not been damaged at all in the process. Um, and that my ear looks fine. Like it doesn't look like there's any fluid back there. It doesn't look like there's any damage to my ear. So it looks fine. He understands that it doesn't feel fine. He said that he has seen many other patients that have had this happen, but that my ear is plugged up for a lot longer than usual. It doesn't usually take six months or more to unclog. It's usually like a couple weeks. So what he recommends is that I book this appointment where essentially he pokes a tiny hole in my eardrum <laughs> to relieve the pressure. And he was like, do you want to do that today? And honestly, after being there three and a half hours, I'm hungry. I want to go home. So I just was like, um, I think I'll call back to book that. So anyways, I'm going to have to do that. And that will also protect me for if I, you know, take flights in the future, it will prevent something like damaging happening to my eardrum. And then it takes like a few weeks to heal after that. So, um, anyways, that is... I guess I'm gonna try my damnedest. I'm gonna make it my mission. I think I'm gonna go on decongestants again because he see he when he did.
did the scope he saw that I have like still some nasal congestion which is weird and I mean I did have COVID a few weeks ago so that could like possibly be why but anyways yeah that's enough about my medical history <laughs> um yeah so I will be going back soon I guess to get that done and he said it burns a little when they put in the numbing thing and then you hear like uh anyway I'm gonna head home I ordered a new coffee table I'm excited we're gonna set that up I actually have some filming to do as well for like an Instagram uh branded thing so we're gonna do that but yeah I mean overall I do feel relieved like I am super glad I went to this appointment to get it checked out because now I know that something more serious isn't happening that's really good to know but I genuinely like that scope in my nose I think I can taste like blood in my mouth I think he might have like scraped my nose anyway all right I'm gonna head home even though that kind of felt like a waste of time it really wasn't like I'm really glad I went okay I have to go because I already paid for my parking so we gotta get out of here all right i'm home i actually just filmed my little branded thing for instagram got that done out of the way and now drew and i are gonna make a dessert that we've seen i guess we saw it on tiktok for the first time so basically we're gonna make a biscoff lotus whatever you want to call it um cookie butter ice cream sandwich because that sounds phenomenal. We saw this girl on TikTok make them, so we're gonna make our own version. So we're taking the leftover ice cream that we got from our adventure where we tried those donut travesties. Mm. I mean, they weren't They terrible. were even better. Yeah, the, I think it was the donuts that were the problem. So we have our melted mm -hmm. ice cream in here, or just slightly melted. Should I also melt that so it's easier to mix? Or like at least warm it up? Yeah. This one's kind of hard. Yeah. So we're gonna turn this ice cream into soft serve, which Drew said he used to do as a child. So you'll have to let us know in the comments if you were the type of kid who like mixed all your ice cream in a bowl. Turn it into it's... ice cream soup. <laughs> no. So I'm making ice cream soup over here, and then Drew is gonna make. He's gonna melt the cookie butter. Cookie butter soup. <laughs> We were at Trader Joe's, so we just bought their, which you saw in the last vlog, their speculoos cookies, and then their actual like cookie butter um, instead of the Biscoff brand, because why not? It's relatively the same. These biscuits are a little bit thicker, but I think it'll be good. So that's basically all we're gonna do is put the melted cookie butter, mix it in the ice cream, pour it in this thing, top it with the other cookies, and then you let it refreeze you know and you cut it into sandwiches. What? So they're more like corn. Uh -huh. Wrap those in plastic wrap. Uh -huh. So we can like... So we can take it out? Yeah. Yeah, probably a good idea. I like the way you think. We got ice cream soup. All right. Now, we're gonna go in with our cookie butter. Oh my God. This is the best day of my life. If you didn't know, I think cookie butter, Biscoff, whatever you wanna call it, is probably my favorite flavor in the entire world. The hot with the cold is really kind of seizing up on us here. <laughs> but I bet it's gonna taste good. Drew had the good idea of putting plastic wrap over there. Cling film, sorry. I mean, that makes more sense. Saran wrap, plastic wrap, like cling film makes so much more sense. We, That's what British people say, clean, I think. And maybe Australian. It says cling Canadian, wrap. question mark? It says cling wrap on, on our there. boxes. But everyone just calls it saran wrap. It's like one of those things where it's like, you call it a Kleenex, you call it chapstick, you call it Band Tupperware, Band-Aid. All those things are actually brands instead of the product itself. All right, I'm gonna work on this mixture that's um, a little seized up and then we'll assemble. We are um, truly eyeballing this here. Trust me, this looks disgusting, but we tasted it. It's delicious, okay? This is just gonna be, it's not gonna be like an ice cream sandwich. It's gonna be more of like an ice cream dessert. That's fine. Let's layer it. We're making a layered dessert. So, um, we're remix. We're doing something different. We're actually layering it <laughs> instead of making an ice cream sandwich. This will be better. It's like a tiramisu. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> oh, there's all the cookie butter. Where's your spoon at? Okay, Drew's made the executive decision that we're actually just gonna crumble the cookies on top now. Texture. For for the texture. Mmm. This is gonna be so good. This should be good. Right? Oh yeah, that looks phenomenal. What do you mean? Okay, in the freezer she goes. So we ordered a new coffee table. I think I mentioned that. And this is like something that we've been thinking about investing in for a while. It was only like $200. So I guess, I mean, not only, but I feel like for a coffee table, some of them are like $500 and up, but we're, <laughs> he's looking at it like this. We're gonna 
embarrassed to admit this, but we eat dinner every single night at the coffee table. Um, it just like, I don't know, works the best for us. We watch our cozy shows, etc. However, it's really low to the ground and we're always like hunched over eating and it kind of hurts my stomach sometimes to like hunch over and be like cutting my food on my plate. So then I end up putting it in my lap on the chaise part of the couch and then I spill it all over the couch. It's just like a thing. So anyway, we're gonna try one of these coffee tables that like lifts up to a table. Listen, <laughs> everyone has their own thing that works for them, okay? So we're gonna set it up. I think all you have to do is like screw the legs on it. So we're gonna take our stuff and move it to our new coffee table. Nice. Cute. Not bad. Mm. And then no one will ever know. Let's go eat our food that we definitely did not order on Uber Eats. Goodbye. All right, it is actually um, 7 p.m. the next day. We went on like a nice little coffee walk today and we worked and all that kind of stuff, but um, the vibes are kind of low. We've had a rough day. There's been a lot going on with Moo and stuff, which I'm sure I'll update, but anyways. We were just about to, just on our own, like try this dessert we made and then I realized that we showed it on the vlog, so we're gonna try it. You wanna cut it up? Okay, lovely. The sirens really add to the ambience. Did you ever have um, the ice cream back when you were a kid called Vianetta? No, but it sounds familiar. It was like very, we always thought it was like fantasy. Oh. <laughs> it had like this long, and you had to cut it into slices. It's like this. It's like a layer. Lovely. So here's our experimental Biscoff, sort of like ice cream cake pie thing. Shall we? Layered dessert. Layered dessert. Oh, it's very hard. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All the cookie butter came to the bottom. But mm -hmm. color. It's great. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> what did we expect? It's so good. Quite nice. Mm-hmm. Ten out of ten. What do you give it? Ten. He goes, ten. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy this, but I figured since I showed us making it, it would only be the right thing to do to show us trying it. Highly recommend. If you've got any spare speculoos cookies, Biscoff, Lotus, whatever, mix it up with an ice cream. Delicious. Mm -hmm.